What is up, friendos? It is Utashio here, or Steven, depending on your pronunciation. And I wanted to upload a real quick video about the Overlunky Randomizer mod. You may have seen me playing this in uh, some of my recent streams. Uh, it's also been popular. A lot of other people have been checking it out, giving it a try as well. It's absolutely hilarious. If, uh, if you're looking for something fresh, and spicy and interesting in Spelunky 2. I, I would definitely recommend this to, to spice things up. I don't want to talk too much about what it does because part of the enjoyment and the hilarity is uh, finding out just what sort of crazy shenanigans uh, happen for yourself. But basically, uh, you can install the Overlunky mod pack and then there is a randomizer script that you can activate that makes everything in the game completely random. And I mean everything anything can happen it's completely wild and uh if if anybody wanted to give it a try that does not know how to get their hands on it or how to install it and set it up i'm gonna make this real real brief tutorial quick and easy the first thing that you're gonna want to do is click the link that i have posted in the description of this video that link, when you click on it, will take you to the screen that you see here. This is the GitHub download page for Overlunky. When you get here, all you're going to do is scroll down past this description of what Overlunky is down to installation and usage. And you're going to click on download the latest release right here. You're going to click on that. It's going to take you to this screen. As of making this video, it looks like 0.4.7 is the most up-to-date version. You're going to come down here to Overlunky 0.4.7 zip or whatever the uh, most up-to-date version is when you get to this page. You're going to click on that top zip and it's going to start downloading it, right? Now, in order for this mod and, and the randomizer script to work, you need to unzip this and you need to save it actually in your Spelunky 2 game files. Now a lot of people uh, are going to know where that is already, they probably should, but uh, if you don't know where to find it, that's totally fine. There's this cool trick you can do, if you open up your Steam, uh, obviously this only works on PC if you, if you hadn't gathered that by now, open up your Steam, scroll down to Spelunky 2 here, you can click this little gearbox, the settings over here in Spelunky 2 manage go down to properties if you go to local files here on the left and then click browse it will open up your file explorer automatically to where your spelunky 2 game files are saved on your computer now i already have the mod pack installed on my computer which is why you see it here um but if if i didn't here i can even delete this it's not hard to do so you delete that this is your file location so now you can go back to your zip here, you can open the zip, and uh, you basically just want to take this, this overlunky folder that you see right here, you want to take that and drag and drop, just drag and drop it over into your Splunky 2 folder, just like that. Now you've got this overlunky folder, and that is pretty much all you need to do. You can open it up, check it out, you can look at the scripts and the files if you want. You don't have to, um, but it's as easy as that. It is as simple as that. We can close out of GitHub now, we can close out of that download. What you're basically going to do is go into this Overlunky folder in your, in your Spelunky game files. You're going to launch the Overlunky application here by clicking it like this. Uh, it's going to tell you that it doesn't know uh, it's an unrecognized app, that's fine, it's very safe, I promise, you can hit more options, run anyway, it's going to start this, uh, this .exe file, now that that's running, it's just looking for Spelunky 2, you can go ahead and hit play back on your Steam, launch Spelunky 2, and here we are, you'll notice now that we have this Overlunky mod installed. Now, if you want to know how to use Overlunky in other ways, uh, I'm not going to cover that in this video now. This is just a quick tutorial about setting up the randomizer mod and, and other scripts. Um, so if you want to know more about Overlunky and how it works, uh, I guess maybe there's another video for that. But for now, uh, in order to get the randomizer, you're going to come over here to scripts, which is in the F, F8. It can bring up your scripts, uh, or you can just click on it with your mouse cursor over here. These are all your different scripts. 
lots of different fun game modes and uh, modified game modes to Spelunky 2 that you can give a try. They're all very interesting. The one in question today and the one that I've been trying a lot is this. This fourth one from the bottom, this randomizer script. If you hit this drop down arrow and then click enable right down here, that is good to go. Now you'll notice that this has enabled the trap randomizer, door randomizer, enemy randomizer, and pet randomizer, uh, as well as some other things too, I think. So this randomizer mod actually enables all of the other randomizers in the game. You can enable or disable those however you see fit to uh, kind of customize your modded experience, but that's basically how you do it. You can also check this hide script messages box so that none of the messages show up down here if you don't want them interfering with your gameplay. And then the last thing to do is to hit F11 on your keyboard to hide that overlunky menu. You are completely set and good to go. Now you can just go into the game like regular, select your character, the walls will be shifting, and now <laughs> buckle up for some uh, absolutely crazy, crazy wild random shenanigans. I hope that was helpful. Just a real quick video tutorial on how to install and get that up and running because I know that I am not great with mods and I had a little bit of trouble with it myself right off the bat. But uh, if you just follow those steps exactly as I described them, you should have no problems. It should be very smooth, very simple, and uh, you're going to have a lot of fun with this mod. I absolutely guarantee you that. It is hilarious and, fast and fantastic. So uh, until next time, everybody. Thanks for watching.